Hey, this is CFLU. This is the second part of what I'm going to tell you the medical condition that is serious that could kill your life, it could take your life or your family members. So be very aware of the symptoms. If you haven't watched my first part, though, click somewhere in the link below. Uh, this is the second part. This is what I learned from my clients, and I hope this doesn't happen to you. But if you have similar symptoms, do not ignore. So I'll tell you more. All right. Now the second thing is, and this is normally happen for elderly people, like parents or in laws and all that, or even if you are over fifty, right? So apparently, this uh, friend of mine, um, actually an ex colleague of mine, and this is what happened to the father. So the father is, uh, you know, elderly person, and he hit. What he, what happened is he hit, you know, knock on the head on some something, the ceiling or some more like that. And it doesn't seem like a big deal, right? It doesn't seem like a big deal. The only symptom that after he knocked the head on the door, and then I'm talking about an old older person right here, is that he has some symptoms of you no know, want to like a bit burning lah, right? Fainting and all that. No. So the the my colleague, which is the door, the my my colleague, which is the in-laws, right? The daughter-in-law gets a bit worried, so he get the father check up at the hospital, and the hospital, the outpatient doctor check and. What happened is that the doctor said that oh she's serious. We need to call up the neurologist. Okay, the neurologist. The neurologists are the special that specialize in your brain or no? the nerve and all that. So he said that wow, this hospital probably hospital really want to pop on me. I say meaning that it just uh, something if you feel a bit like you know not well, a bit kind of faint and don't you, you need to call the specialist man because you're calling the specialist on a weekend is very expensive, right? You call the specialist in to check now. After the specialist arrive, then they understand the situation. It seems like after the check, okay, it seems like there is a bleeding inside the brain, okay, just by a knock on the head. And the specialist say that there's a, the one of the blood vessel or the artery and things like that. Actually, there's a leak, so the the blood was actually dripping out, right, dripping out. And he say that once the the brain, I'm not a doctor here, so I might describe it in a, a layman form or not a medically correct. A form so a way so don't shoot me for that. So is it your brain where there's a blood vessel leak? So the brain will actually uh trickle down the blood trickle out and when your whole brain apparently was filled with blood, that is where you will just drop, you just drop to the floor and you will go into a coma. That's how serious it is. You know, it say that when your brain is filled with blood, there's an internal bleeding. Okay, internal bleeding in the brain. So what happened is he say that this is no longer a normal thing. This is this he say that you need to admit to the HDU immediately. Now what is HDU? ICU. You know that no, normal is normal one. Then you have ICU, which one level of intensive care unit. Now HDU means high dependent dependency unit, which is whatever one level higher than ICU. So this is how urgent and how 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 serious the situation is. So the neurologist with the neurosurgeon actually did immediately a surgery on the father, uh, fixed that. And the, thank God the father was, you know, the life was not in danger, the father recovered. Now, but the thing is, why this happened is that as a young person, maybe you like, you know, if you're 30 or 40, uh, just a knock, a medium impact knock on your head wouldn't cost you much thing. But when it says that the older person, what happened is as you get older, the brain size is actually shrinking. When the brain size shrinking, and they say that, this is what I'm being told, I'm not a doctor, so again, don't shoot me for that. So what happened is, when the brain shrink, so there is, you know, the brain was actually, um, there's a skull, right? There's a skull that is covering the brain, or uh, gray matter. Now, what happened is when the brain shrink, there is this, this, this space between the brain and your skull, you know, and your skull. So what happened is there might be blood vessel that is, uh, that, that, that is being stretched, right? And it's connected to the skull and it's connected to the brain. So when the brain shrinks, so it's like when your rubber band is being stretched and when you are being stretched, so it is more prone, there are more tense, uh, tensile strength on, 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 on whatever the blood vessel. So when that happens, a medium impact knock on the heart, which normally wouldn't cause any issues for, uh, for, for someone, um, younger, it will cause issue for elderly pe pe person, people because the brain shrinks and your blood vessel gets stretched. And that is why when you get stretched, so, uh, impact will actually break the, the, the vessel and there might be, uh, internal bleeding if you don't take it seriously. 
uh, after maybe a few days after uh, the impact um, you, you might just uh, you know that person will just drop just went into coma and it is no U-turn irreversible kind of a medical condition which is sad okay which is sad now so if you have a knock on the head and whatnot and I, I, my mom actually uh, had this not the surgery but I have not on her head because I know this I take her to the hospital but it, proper check up with MRI and all that to make sure it doesn't have this internal bleeding inside the brain because this is life threatening this is serious so with that being said I hope this video has been very useful for you so take note take care of your parents take care of the family members your elderly your in-laws or whatnot uh, around you hope this could whatever I'm putting out here could save your life could save someone's life so please propagate the message share this wherever you are subscribe for more useful video like this subscribe uh, like Facebook page or whatever you are seeing this so this is Jeff Liu I'll see you in the next video for more you know back to most of my financial lessons video okay and see you